Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel and welcome back to Barca Time. So the game between Barca and Sevilla has ended with a 1-0 victory for FC Barcelona thanks to Sergio Ramos, ex-Real Madrid defender on goal that make Barca a victory against Sevilla in the La Liga game that he played. It wasn't an easy game for Barcelona. It was a tough game because Sevilla looks to defend a lot and Barca press high and at the end Barca get himself a three points to top the La Liga. There's matches to come with Real Madrid and Girona. We are all looking to see how Girona will manage to beat Real Madrid or make Real Madrid drop points in that game. But before I go in details with this match, let's watch some of the videos of how Barca players arrive in the stadium for the match they did play against Sevilla. Let's watch the videos. Frankie Leon, one of our Mefeda and also our captain, did arrive in the stadium today to watch the match. His injury, I've already talked about this guy. If you haven't watched that video, you can click the link on the top right here to watch it. And the player is even doubt to play the Classico that will play against Real Madrid. And so let's go in details with the match at the first half, how it went and how it ended. And so with the game itself, I personally like the lineup that Zevi Henrique did brought today. And the one surprising thing that I saw Rafinha playing as a midfielder on the right wing, that was the only thing I was surprised to see while we have Femi Lopez, a perfect midfielder but using Rafinha. But at the end, it was good because if you see the way Rafinha was pressing severe players, it was very, very good. And I think when Rafinha returned from injury, because the player did get himself injury in this game against Sevilla. And according to some reports, he's going to be out for around 10 weeks. So we wish him a speedy recovery. We wish Rafinha to recover as soon as possible. So Barca was having a lot of good chances. At the first half, even Jao Cancelo was able to manage dribble into the opponent's 18 yard ball, giving this ball to Jao Felix and he hit the ball with a crossbar. I think Jao Felix should have scored this goal because if you look at where he was standing, receiving this great chance and still managed to miss this chance, it was a very bad one. And I think Jao is going to improve on that one. So the first half ended in a 0-0 draw game. The Sevilla defenders were defending very, very well, especially with Ramos back to their team. They were defending and there was no way to break through their defense. So the first half ended in a 0-0 draw. And so in the second half, that's where Barca was able to get himself a goal against Sevilla thanks to a header by Laminyama, which caused Sergio Ramos, ex-Real Madrid player, to score an own goal against himself. You know, Ramos at the beginning of the match, he said he's going to score a goal against Barcelona, but unfortunately, he scored a goal against himself, he scored a goal against Sevilla. And that was the way Barca was able to win against Sevilla a 1 0. Joe Cancelo was given man of the match after the end of the game and i like it because if you see the way he play against sevilla today it was a very good game that he have on the pitch and that's all for today if you guys find this video very helpful make sure to subscribe because more videos coming up right in this channel like this one i will see you guys soon in the next one but until then 
Visca Barça, Visca Catalunya. Thank you guys a lot.